Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. I'm going to be making this video about the Losi MTXL. It's an amazing looking truck. I'm actually just getting it ready to sell it, which is the sad part of all of this. Um, however, I just wanted to share with you guys this beast of a truck. Okay guys, you can just see the truck here. It's in excellent condition. I mean, this thing is amazing. If I had the space and the room to run it, I'd definitely be keeping this. But a one-fifth scale this size, I mean, just the box for it is humongous. Um, it's just one of those things that I just don't have the space um, to keep it. Um, and also, I don't think I could actually afford to keep running it in terms of spare parts, because spare parts on fifth scale is so expensive compared to others. Um, let me just take the body off. It's actually held together with like some... Um, Velcro on the sides, which is quite nice. So the body itself is pretty cool. Nice little design there. Just get that out of the way. And then I can show you the truck itself. It is gorgeous. I mean, let's start with those beefy, beefy shocks. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you've got the twin servos um, for steering there. And those are actually Low C's um, own, uh, what are they called? Uh, 900, S900. Um, servos there, S900S, there we go, steering servo, amazing, uh, you see the metal horns there, the aluminium horns, um, then you go into the actual spur gear, you can see the size of that thing, huge, absolutely huge, um, and you've got the throttle servo there, and there is the 29cc um, engine, which is excellent. Um, Real workhorse by Dynamite does the job just fine. Fuel tank there, obviously. I mean, just look at the size of that that drive shaft there. Absolutely huge. It's just a standard dog bone, but look at the size. It's beefy as hell that is. It's amazing. Um, same with the front there. There's a bit of slop in that, but you know you get that. There's the rear brace plastic. A lot of people swap those out for. Um, aluminium ones but that is a thick plastic but bear in mind the weight of this thing it's huge um, there's the, like the tub as well the tub kind of sides that they, these plastic parts screw onto the the metal chassis and the, just check these tires out I'm, I mean I'm just they're just resting I'm just resting the actual car on the tires but look at the size of those tires look at the tread on them this thing is just a monster as it should be for a monster truck XL um, I've seen videos of people that have bought this and have still upgraded the hell out of it which is understandable if you're gonna be bashing this thing jumping it um, you're bound to cause damage I mean I've not yet seen an RC which can infinitely withstand damage but man this thing is beefy as hell I mean it weighs a ton so it's understandable if things break. I mean, that's just a bit flimsy, isn't it, as a support there? Plastic, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, overall, an absolutely gorgeous truck. It actually runs on, like, a 2S uh, LiPo receiver pack, which is quite cool. Um, and it would originally come with um, an AVC-enabled receiver and transmitter, but I'm not including that. So I'm going to be selling this just as is. It's barely been used. It has had fuel run through it, but... Barely. I mean, it's as you can see, it's just immaculate condition, really. Real shame to have to let this go. The underside is clean as well, um, as you'd expect from something which has had barely any use. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just a bit of RC um, viewing pleasure there, really. Just get an eye full of that. Just absolutely gorgeous car. Absolutely stunning. Beast of a machine. I would love to. Um, give this a bit of a run around, but you know, I want to keep it in as good condition as possible. I mean, just look at those CV joints. No, those are just dog bones, aren't they? I think they're just dog bones. I'm not sure. I have to see. But yeah, look at this. They're just chunky. Look how fat they are. Same with the steering, um, steering linkages and things. It's just huge. As it should be on a truck of this size. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I want to keep this video pretty short. So I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.